We're Tani and Adam. We've lived in our old van Jitters, traveling around for three years. It's a lifestyle we've grown to love. We're about to leave for a big Europe trip and assuming we don't break down, we hope to return to Italy and maybe even make it to Greece. But first, we're exploring somewhere closer to home, Cornwall. Situated on the southwest tip of the UK, Cornwall is famous for its beauty, rugged landscapes and cream teas. Subscribe to join us as we continue our adventure in our little rusty van. We have officially arrived to Cornwall and it is sunny and it is glorious and I would be lying in to tell you that this is the very first spot that we've been to because the last one was not so glorious, it was a laundry day, laundry day. but this is now the second spot we're going to today and it's supposed to be a beautiful spot. Sandwiches packed? Yeah, hopefully they don't get squished. They still taste good though. <laughs> we parked up at Portoquin Car Park, put two pounds in the honesty box and headed to the coastal path. Walking along the wild coastal path of North Cornwall, we felt small, dwarfed by the elements surrounding us. The warmth of the sun, the strength of the wind, and the energy of the waves crashing beneath us. This is incredible, because I think this is quite a popular spot, but the beauty of van life is we've, able, we've been able to start the walk a little bit later than most, um, meaning that it's, what, half five now, and like there and back will take about two, two and a half hours. Um, and because of van life, we can get back, we can have our food, we can relax, and then we can drive on and find our park up whereas most people need to be home in time for food, meaning that we've got this coastal path all to ourselves. We've seen one other person the whole time. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice and a beautiful evening. It started off really great this morning and we're very pleased to announce that it is sunny. I love it. <laughs> As we continued, we could see Port Isaac nestled around the cove ahead of us. We stopped only to pick some berries and show a little kindness to the cows who were sadly destined for a slaughterhouse. Absolutely beautiful walk, but we are getting very hungry. So we're gonna have the very special snacks that Tanya prepared. <laughs> um, and then we're debating about whether we should go in for some chips as well, but it's getting late, it's getting dark. So we're gonna see how we feel after our Special There's always snack. time for chippies. Is there? Does that bench? Ugh. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. We are sat here having our banana date syrup and, and peanut, peanut butter, butter sandwiches. Mm. And we've got this view. And there are cows in the background behind us. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry, I didn't notice. <laughs> We've decided that it is a bit too late for chips, so we're gonna have to have some chips another time. <laughs> um, but that's okay, because we're feeling good, we've got the energy, and we've got an hour, exactly an hour actually, until sunset, um, so that gives us an hour to get back to Jits. Oh, home, right. Tidy and find somewhere to sleep? Yeah. Adam's taking me on a very Cornish date. A corny date! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just yeah, a very corny date. Uh, so wait till you tell you. We went to Gwenna Tea House for a traditional cream tea. The vegan version. <laughs> so, it actually even says on the menu that to make the perfect cream tea, you apply the jam first, and it says in brackets, very important, and then you apply the cream. But for any of you who live in Devon or Cornwall or for, are familiar with Devon and Cornwall and the controversy that surrounds cream teas, wow. you will know that the Devon way is to put the cream on first, then you put the jam. And I don't know, for me, without even realizing it was the Devon way, I've always put the cream first because that acts like the butter, and then you put the jam on top. You don't put jam then butter on, so why would you put jam then cream? <laughs> but we're in Cornwall! Yeah, but which way are you gonna do it? I'm gonna do the Cornish way. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the Devon way and then we can compare. Certainly fair. 
So let us know, guys, which way do you do it? <laughs> Important conversations to be had in the comments. <laughs> Controversial. The origin of cream tea is disputed, although there is evidence to suggest that the tradition of eating bread with cream and jam existed at Tavistock Abbey in Devon in the 11th century. As agreed, we did a taste-off test. Much better. Which one? Yours? Okay, yeah. I agree. Yeah? I agree. Definitely. <laughs> no, I agree. We got caught out doing it the wrong way. We're in Cornwall. I know. I know. I just thought I'd, we did one each differently so that we could compare. Oh, I know. We won't tell you the verdict then. <laughs> 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 the servings were so big that we got takeaway and finished them in jits. Behind the scenes, this is what I have to contend with. Hey, this has happened like twice. We hardly ever use this. No, we've done this a few times because Adam loves <laughs> to lie in and I love to be productive. So I wake up and I go move to the one side and I make the bed. So I'm on the couch and... It takes me longer to wake up. It's a science thing. It's true. It's a condition. <laughs> I, bet, I bet about half of you watching will be able to relate to me or to Tanya. Are you asking people to vote in the comments? Yeah, let us know. Do you find it easy waking up in the morning or do you struggle waking up in the morning? Are you a Tanya or an Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, after a slow morning, we decided to get outside and stretch our legs. So as much as it's lovely to have days in the van when it's raining outside, it does get a bit, not claustrophobic, but you do get like cabin fever He's a little bit. to get rid of me. They're like, go outside. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to get outside and we're going to go on a little wonder because even though it's raining, it still looks like it's lovely outside. It's important to get out and stretch your legs when you're sat in a van all day. Yeah, you're very good at being the instigator for walks. You're like, we got to go for a walk. If Tanya had it her way, she'd, she wouldn't leave the van for weeks on end. No, it's, that's not true. That's true. Check the windows. One check. Two checks. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. On days like these where it's raining, I love nothing more than being inside jets, all cozy and snuggly, with the fairy lights on and all of it. And usually the last thing I want to do is to get out in the rain. But once I'm out, I just love it. Just the sound of the rain, the smell. Even if the floor's a bit slippy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even if I fall flat on my bum, it's still brilliant. And yeah, I'm always so glad for it. So let yeah. this be motivation for you. If it's rainy wherever you are, make sure to go outside and enjoy. That's why having a dog's so nice, because it makes you get out whatever the weather. That's very interesting you should say that. It's very interesting you should say that, but I mm. mm, wonder why. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> And there's always an opportunity to pick berries. Rain or shine. <laughs> Look at this one. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet. I've got some more over there I've got my eye on. Look at these two. Look. Oh. One hand. One for me. <gasps> one for you. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. I know. I got absolutely obsessed with picking berries. It was my first time picking blackberries and I couldn't believe there was free food growing in the bushes. Can't go anywhere without us doing blackberries. Yes! Look! It's huge! Ooh. And purple. 
perfect. Well done. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. As we got back to Jits, it was a welcome retreat from the rain, and the cabin fever was replaced by coziness. Cup of tea? Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. <laughs> Rice is great, it's brown rice. Yeah, <laughs> delicious. Mm. And it's a good one because it only takes 25 minutes, mm -hmm. so we don't have to waste as much gas, which is mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. In the warmth of the sun, we left the woods and headed back to civilization. We went to Fawi to pick up a traditional snack for a picnic. The sun is shining. We are closing up Jits and we are heading out onto the water with our sup! And I'm yes. so excited. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We've been waiting for this sun and we're so glad it's here. So we're going to make the most of it. Our paddleboard is our new toy. We love the freedom it gives us to explore in a new way as we travel. Pumping it up is hard work, but well worth it. It is so nice to be out on the water, especially when it's nice and sunny like this because when your bum gets wet it doesn't matter because it's actually it's quite lovely. Yes, refreshing. It would be pretty cool to live on a boat, wouldn't it? Yeah, look. Mayday, mayday! The wind, it's too much for us. The waves are too large. We're gonna have to seek some shelter. <laughs> Adam's gonna find a beach. We've spotted a beach over there, right there, far yonder, and we're gonna have our snacks there to fuel us up for the winter. <laughs> oh, but to be fair, Adam said that if we just did nothing, we would just naturally get pushed yeah, back, to back to jits anyway because we're going against the waves. <laughs> we don't need a destination, let's go where the river's taking us. We pulled up to a tiny cove to take a break and have some lunch. Absolutely lovely little beach that we found here for our picnic. It's sunny, the wind's actually calmed down and yeah, stunning. Yeah, go on then Tanya, what is our picnic? We've got vegan pasties, <laughs> although Adam did teach me, apparently you're supposed to hold them like this. Yeah, this is the handle. Why is that? Because it used to be for miners, when miners would go down, they'd end up holding that bit as the handle and then they'd eat the main bit and then they'd throw that away, apparently. Because they'd have sushi hands. Yeah, because they'd have dirty hands because they were down in mines. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that, is it nice? Mm-hmm. Great. Mmm. Mm. So good. It's so good. One thing, guys. Mm. We haven't come up with a name for our sup board. So, if you can think of a good name for him, or her, let yeah. us know. Is it him or her? I don't know. But we do like to person personify yeah. our <laughs> belongings. <laughs> our vessels. <laughs> yes, that's true. We've got ourselves a pirate ship. Look at that one. Lovely job. Thank you. It's actually really nice to have like a vessel you can get out on the water and explore like when you're traveling because you get to see a place from like a completely different perspective and having our own means that we're not at the uh, whim of having to rent something but it does take more space than jits and ends up taking up the bathroom but we'll figure it out <laughs> 
Before we leave the UK to head off to Europe, we have one final trip to make. It's like a seven and a half hour detour, which is about nine hours for JITS. It's more like 10. <laughs> or 10. We are picking up a very special guest who is going to make up the third member of the JITS crew. And <laughs> we cannot wait to show you. It's gonna be his first road trip abroad. Oh, it's a he. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, it's Twiggy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, Twiggy! Uh, that's oh, it! God. That's it. <laughs> He's so that's cute! Look at him! Oh, he looks so young! Yes. Tigger! Twiggy! Now he is um, oh. Oh. There's two buckles. Two there. buckles? Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Now go home! <laughs> I don't want to forget. I have to focus. Oh, that's so Oh, he's making himself at home straight away, is he? Yay! <laughs> Good boy, oh, Tricks! Oh, look! So sweet. This is my family dog, Trigger, a rescue who has been part of my family for 10 years. My mom brought him over from Ireland so he can have a European adventure in Jits. And just like that, we have a new life in the van. <laughs> well done, buddy. Right, we've got to record a podcast. Are you going to be in the podcast, Triggs? So it's really, really nice to have Trigger in the van. This is our second day with him. Hello. Well, it's our first full day with him. He arrived yesterday. Um, and yeah, it's just lovely, lovely having Triggy in the van. So if you're interested in Triggy, go check out our podcast episode. We just finished recording it with Triggs. Well, with Triggs sat by us snoring. Um, <laughs> Maybe so he didn't find it that interesting. He didn't find it that interesting. <laughs> but if you want to go and check it out for yourself, find out whether Triggy was right to find it interesting or not. Then, uh, yeah, we've just posted it now. So we, we talk more about Triggy. We talk about our future plans and we talk about all sorts in the, in the latest episode. Um, so, yeah, go check it out. Please make sure you subscribe to no. <laughs> Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've seen that over half of you that watch our films are not yet subscribed. I think a lot of you watch us on TV. So if you happen to be online on your phone, please make sure you do subscribe because it's the best way to support us and it's the best way to get YouTube to notice us so that they share our films with more people. The guy looking for the perfect lover The kind of love he only seen in another I wasn't waiting for sunshine and unicorn I've nothing, I've heard all and then you don't